Welcome back to our live cast. We're here with Andreas from Machine Games. We're talking about Wolfenstein, the new order, coming to PS3 and PS4. Andreas, thanks for coming by. Thank you. So, Wolfenstein, that's a name that needs no introduction. Gamers worldwide know what this is, but you're bringing it back, and you're making it better than ever for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. What are you, what's your philosophy in bringing this classic franchise back for the modern era of gaming? So we started out by looking at what is the Wolfenstein game, and to us it is the intensive, intense immersive action. It is the David versus Goliath theme, you know, BJ against the Nazi army, and now the Nazi global empire. Oh, wow. And just, you know, the, the general sense of weirdness you get from exaggerating the most bizarre elements of the Nazi party, like the larger-than-life leaders, the strange, weird technology in, in all the experiments. So we kind of look, took yeah. that and made it into a 2013 game. And we uh, took a leap into the 1960s yeah. and we yeah. created an alternate history setting yeah. where the Nazis have won World War II and they're now taking over the world and created this global empire. Oh, all right. So uh, you, you mentioned BJ. This is BJ Blazkowicz? Is that yes, how you yes. say it? BJ Blazkowicz, the original hero from Wolfenstein. Uh, you, got, you guys could have just went with you know a faceless, you know a, a big brute that runs through the game and tears everything up. But you decided to bring this classic character back and revamp him for the new age of games. Uh, what, how do you guys do that without kind of uh, betraying the feeling of the originals? So we were huge fans of Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, yeah. A lot of us played the game when we were kids, and we were just blown away by playing this, you know, the first real uh, shooter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we love the character, so we wanted to bring him back. So in our game, he's been in a coma for 14 years, and he's waking up oh. Oh. now, and uh, he's realizing that the war that he was part of is now lost. Uh, he's no longer a soldier. All the easy answers he had are now gone. So he has to find his footing in this new world, and the player together with him kind of explore the new order, the new world, uh, to find out what it means to live in a world dominated by Nazis, a world uh, taken over by Nazis, a world without democracy. I'll say, so, uh, so BJ has a lot of one-lighters, I noticed, while playing the game. He's got these little quips he says when he takes an enemy down or something. How do you guys uh, find the right balance of one-liners without it becoming too annoying, but still, still being entertaining for the gamer? Oh, we have great writers, uh, oh, yeah. but we've also worked uh, a long time on our characters. We're very story-driven and character-driven as a game and as a studio, so it's our passion, really. Uh, so uh, we've, we've done a lot of work on that. Uh, and I think we've also been able to add a lot of depth to BJ Blazkowicz as a character because of the, you know, being gone for 14 years and waking up, uh, being an older man now, uh, almost middle-aged man, uh, still a Nazi ass kicker though, but you, he's uh, uh, ch slightly changed as a character because, uh, you know, everything that he knew is gone and his country was lost. He's no longer a soldier in an, uh, in an army. You know, he has to find, uh, a new way to take up the fight against the Nazis. Okay. Uh, now, you mentioned that you have great writers uh, making this game. Let's talk a little bit about the story. This seems to be a, a pretty story-driven game for a first-person shooter. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys looking at the story in Wolfenstein The New Order? So the story is very important. We call ourselves a first-person, a story-driven first-person action adventure. So wow. you have the action part, which is, you know, the uh, intense, immersive action. Then we have the adventure section of the game as well, which will take you around the world, uh, interact and cooperate with characters and explore all these different exotic locations, you know, solve puzzles in different ways. Uh, and a nod to the original Wolfstein 3D is you, you can search for secrets if you want to. Okay, cool. Uh, let's talk about the guns. We're, we're uh, kind of crouching around and getting around here. What's, what are some of the different guns that BJ is going to be employing in his uh, quest against the Nazis? So this is in the 1960s, and the Nazis have somehow, this is part of the mystery of the story, acquired uh, a lot of technology. So uh, this is what we call retro sci-fi. Uh, so you're going to find uh, a lot of uh, just normal weapons here. You see like a normal... Uh, Guns that assault use rifles, bullets. Yeah. yeah. But you're also going to find a lot of retro sci-fi weapons, uh, like laser rifles or laser miniguns, wow. and all those sort of things. And you're going to need them against, you know, our retro sci-fi enemies, like the towering robots the and big giant mechs and everything. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah, strange yeah. human experience. You're going to need those. 
Uh, Are different weapons going to react differently against different opponents? Yes, certainly. Yeah, you're gonna be able, uh, gonna have to use different weapons in different uh, situations. We don't not have to, but some weapons will be better in certain situations. Yeah, we try to make sure each weapon has a function in the game. So you know, the earlier weapons aren't discarded later on. You just need to use them in different situations. Oh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I played a little bit about uh, a little bit of the game. And one of the guns, the laser, the laser gun that I was using, that actually had an application in some of the puzzles in the game. Mm. Uh, how much are you guys integrating puzzle solving into this game so that it's not just a straight up shoot everything fest? So we think that's part of the adventure part of the game. Mm. Uh, so we have some laser weapons that you can use to cut through certain types of metal surfaces. And that can be used to progress through a level, to solve some puzzles. Uh, to find new ways through a level, but you can also use it in combat. So imagine uh, doing a s stealth sequence, you're stealthing and you're hiding behind a cover. Then you can actually cut through that cover with that laser weapon, oh, make right. a hole and peek through that hole, still, be, still being hidden behind it, and snipe people through your own cover. And you can also use that against the enemy. Uh, imagine an enemy running and taking uh, cover behind some metal surface and you can actually cut a hole through his cover and oh, shoot and him shoot, shoot, shoot him, him directly <laughs> through his cover That's so awesome. it's it's like a tactical uh, choice you have you can still just flush him out run rush him with guns blazing or you can flank him uh, but you can also take his cover out and leave him exposed and just oh, wow, take him cool. out from a distance. So it sounds like you have a lot of different uh, ways to approach situations in this game. It's not running down a hallway, you know, hide behind a corner, peek out, shoot a dude, hide, peek out, shoot a dude. You can kind of go around and do different stuff. You can even, you're, you're talking about uh, the possibility of using stealth in this game. Yes, there's some stealth uh, uh, elements and moments in the game. We like to give uh, the player a big toolbox of options to do and basically say, okay, here's a big combat scenario. Here are all the tools available to you. Have fun, do it your way, be creative. Awesome, awesome. All right, uh, looks like we're just about to run out of time here, but I want to ask you one more question. Uh, what are you most proud of in Wolfenstein The New Order? Uh, the thing that I'm most proud over, I think, is our alternate history setting, uh, you know, where we get to explore what it would have meant if the Nazis had won World War II. What, what kind of world would that be like? What would it be to be in that world? And uh, having the player explore that together with BJ and the rest of the cast of the game, uh, that's really exciting. Fantastic. Well, that's Wolfenstein The New Order coming to PS3 and PS4. Andreas, thanks for coming by. Thank you.